Welcome to All Classic Car and here a collection of classic American pickups and light trucks and to begin with we have this lovely Chevrolet this one is the 1941 to 1946 era of Chevrolet half ton pickup and what a beauty that is with that waterfall grill wonderful styling art deco styling they called it but yeah wonderful wonderful little truck And here, somewhat newer and reminiscent of the Fall Guy TV series, is this old GMC. This one's on a T registration, so it's probably about late 1978 or early 1979 in date. This was at an American vehicle show at Alton Park in this year, 2022. Back to Tatton Park now. This was a few years ago, HAS 518. That's a 1954 GMC. Um, I did look this one up and it's actually changed colour since this photo was taken. It's now a two-tone sort of creamy and beige colour, but here it was white and blue and glistening in the Cheshire sunshine. And over at Woodford Airfield, one of their uh, American days that they have there, and we've got this really interesting little Ford. This is a Fairlane Ranchero pickup. This was a one-year only car, 1967, with those stacked headlamps. Usually you just have a single headlamp at either side, but this has twin and that's what makes it rare. And talking of rare, we've got this Studebaker YAS861. This is a Studebaker Trans Star pickup, and this one dates to 1955. This was at the Stars and Stripes in the mid 2000s, held at Tatton Park. Always a good show. Back to Alton Park, 717 YUV. A really neat Chevrolet pickup truck here. What a bobby dazzle that is, presumably on air suspension being that low, but I do love the look of that, the old period style sign writing and so on. And there's a five window Chevy 3100 alongside it. Over to the Crew Heritage Centre a little while back, we've got a W Reg uh, Chevrolet here, this one dates to I think about 1981, it's got a 7.4 litre engine under that matte black bonnet. And you can just about see is it 454 cubic inch written on the hood scoop there, the bonnet scoop. All good fun. Back to Alton and the Chevrolet Ace Autos apparently run this particular one. I don't know much about this truck, but if you can tell me more, please do so. Continuing with these American trucks, we've got two photos here of a half ton Dodge uh, pickup truck. This was actually photographed in America, I believe. Really nice old girl. These were built from 1939 to 1947. That's sort of the smaller version of my old three-ton truck, which dates to 1940. And here is that five-window Chevy 3100 we saw a few moments ago. Five-window because it's got those extra little corner windows in the back corners of the cab. You can just about see the one behind the driver's seat in this particular photo. Really, really cool. Back to Chevrolet, and we have this pre-war Chevy half-ton pickup truck. I'm guessing this is about, what, 1938 or 1939, I think, this particular style. This was down at Western Park quite a few years ago, about 2005, 2006, something like that. A classic Ford pickup here now, TTU 503H. That one dates to 1970. That's a Ford F100. And it's a fleet side pickup. Fleet side it has the smooth side, as you can see there. The step side has the very distinctive separate wheel arches. Uh, I'll point one of those out when we next get one of those. And another fleet side here, and again, a crew heritage centre. This is a Chevrolet on a G registration. So that puts it about 68 or 1969. Really smart, patina looking truck there. Another Chevy 3100, these are so popular, and this is an example of a step side pickup truck. Like I say, the fleet side has the smooth side down the back, and you can see this has the very distinctive rear of wings or arches or fenders, as it would have been called back in America. But that's really, really nice. That one dates to 1949. Here's an unusual one on a K registration. This is a Ford Ranchero GT. Very eye-catching indeed with that two-tone colour scheme. Big wheels are a little bit later, the wheels. I think this one dates to about 1971, I think. 
close-up now of two ancient Chevrolets in the foreground is another example of that 1941 to 46 and alongside it is a split window advanced design Chevy 3 100 these were built from 1947 to 1953 with the split window and in 1954 they had a one-piece screen Back to crew, a Ford pickup truck here on an S registration. This is a 1977 Ford F-250. And again, fleet side, long bed body on this particular truck. Here's a nice bright example. This is a V8 Ford. You can see the V8 uh, emblem just on the front end there. And the registration kindly tells us that this one dates to 1951 and it's an F1 pickup. Again, step side body as you can see there. It's a Pontiac Firebird alongside too. Back to Tatton Park in the mid 2000s. I don't know much about this one other than the fact that it's a Ford and it's a pre-war Ford. But really, really nice. Those fruity looking exhaust pipes at the back though point at maybe non-original running gear hiding under that wonderful body. 641 UYT. This is a Chevrolet Apache. Uh, it's got a 4.3 litre engine under that bonnet and dates to 1958. And again, wonderful old style sign right in there. The Dairy County Hot Rods, Bosley, Bosley in Cheshire. That's a very cool looking pickup. And here's a rear view of the same pickup and the trailer that's been built specially for it. And that's the rear body off a Ford. So you've got a Chevy towing a Ford. Next up in this uh, collection of photos featuring classic American pickups, we have this wonderful International. Now looking at those wheels, I'm guessing this one may be on modern running gear um, with the old body transplanted upon it. But yeah, what a beauty that is. 451YUN, that's an International DT, D2 rather, from 1940. And there is a brochure review for this era of International truck elsewhere on the channel. This one looks slightly modified too. We've got a hot rodded, I think it's a Ford based pickup here. We've got a flathead V8 hiding away there, the bonnet removed. This was at Sywell, if I remember correctly. So the Chevrolet USJ672, the 3100 model, this one dating to 1955. This had the 235 cubic inch engine that comes out at about 3850cc. It's currently on Sawn, so hopefully it won't be, be too long before this one's back on the road. Very handsome looking machine indeed, and much, much older. Uh, back to crew is this BF4542, a 1920 Ford Model T pickup. The Chevrolet here, 832 UXB, this one's a 1962 half-ton uh, Chevrolet truck. This one was last taxed in 2009, so what's happened to this one since? That must be quite a few years it's been off the road. And the Chevrolet, slightly older, rear three-quarter view, of uh, the uh, uh, step-side half-ton Chevy 3100. This is a 1952, according to the number plate there on the back. Very, very useful. Used to live in Wisconsin, it would seem. This was at Silverstone. I photographed this. We've got two photos of this 273 XUF, a Chevrolet El Camino from 1959. What a wild looking pickup truck that is. Here's a rear view of the same El Camino. Wow, what an incredible looking vehicle. Look at the tailgate on it, the work that's gone into producing that. That is just incredible. I mean, love it or loathe it. Yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's an eye-catching machine, that is. Now we're down at WEM for the vehicles of interest. And here we have a bright yellow pickup truck, BCV 377T, Chevy Silverado from 1979. Got a 5.7 litre engine in this particular fleet side pickup truck. Now we photograph this one at Alton Park, another V8 Ford 982. XVK. This one dates to 1956. It's got a 5.6 litre V8 engine under that bonnet. 
very cool looking truck indeed. Huge turnout of American vehicles at Alton Park in 2022. And this was at Alton Park as well, but at a different event. I think this was at Gold Cup in the auction area. Um, now, technically, this is a truck. This is a Ford Model AA truck, about 1929 or 1930. But as I didn't have a photo of a Model A pickup around, this is the uh, this is the closest I could do actually. Okay, back to more familiar territory. We've got another Chevrolet 3100 here. This is a split window truck, YXG262, and this one dates to 1950. And as you can see on the sign in the background. This was at Sywell, just outside the museum building. Really, really interesting place this is. Three quarter view now of a big Ford pickup truck here. What model do we have here? I'm not quite sure. I think this is an F100, fleet side F100. That's a long bed, I suspect, from about 1961. Good old Dodge here, this is on an F plate, so that would put it to the late 1960s, about 1967, late 67 or early 1968, but always good to see a Dodge out and about. You usually see Fords and Chevrolets, but you don't see as many Dodges, and it's great to see this one over at Alton Park. Oh, here's a very, very shiny Ford F100. Look at all the detail and it's gone under the bonnet of that particular one. Wow, that's F100. This one dates to 1957 and has a 7.5 litre V8 engine under there. I bet that goes quite well. At the same event, we've got 466XUK, Chevy 3100. This one is from 1949. Like I said before, this era of truck was called the Advanced Design Chevrolet and was introduced in 1947. Here's one that I know very little about. I photographed this one on the Cheshire Run for old lorries quite a few years ago, an REO or Rio Speedwagon. Really, really neat thing. This one is a, from the late 1940s. But more than that, I don't really know. So if you can help out, please pop a note into the comments. That's always welcome. Very eye-catching, somewhat modified. We've got French indoor handles and so on on this old Studebaker 569UYJ. This is a Studebaker, I think it's an E7 from about 1956 and it has a 5.7 litre engine hiding under its hood. Another lovely old 41 to 46 era Chevrolet half ton pickup truck and the uh, license plate on this one helpfully tells us it's a 1946 so one of the last of the Art Deco so-called era Chevrolet pickups. Really really nice. Got some greedy boards on the side there so you can stack them up higher in the back. Back over to Woodford in the Avro Heritage Museum. You can just see in the background there, we've got a V8 Ford 910YUP. Ford F100 left hand drive, as so many of them are, presumably an import. XSL48, this is a Chevrolet Apache, and this one has twin headlights either side, um, a fleet side pickup, and this one's been untaxed since 2017. Um, so where is it? What's happening to this one? I mean, is it being re-restored perhaps? It dates to 1959, this particular truck. 4.6 litre engine under that bonnet. Down to the NEC, and it's, uh, this was at the Classic Car Show, but you do get a few commercial vehicles, and we've got NXS 982. This is a 1945 Ford with a 3.9 litre engine under its bonnet. Really, really nice. Very original, looks like it's been clear coated, or perhaps given the uh, boiled linseed oil treatment. Another Ford here, much earlier, this is a V8, FAS725 is the registration of V8 Ford, dating to 1934. One of the older pickups to feature in this particular collection, and this is just a stunning old truck, I do love that. Right hand drive as well, which is quite unusual. Back over to the Crew Heritage, and we've got a Chevrolet here. Don't know a great deal about this one, I think it's a C10 going off the badge on the front wing there. A short bed, step side pickup, but yeah, and what dates that? About 1980, give or take. Another mid 50s Chevy here, about 55 to 57. I think this particular here of Chevy truck I ran for, but I do like these, the wraparound windscreen, it's got a real sort of rock and roll look to it, nice set of wheels on it as well. Very smoothed out uh, bulkhead there as well. A lot of detail, a lot of time's gone into the restoration of that one. And here we've got a bit of an oily rag Chevrolet 3100. 
another half ton short bed pickup really really neat split window uh, but I can't see a registration plate on the front of this one so uh, I can't be sure of the exact year of this but it's 47 to 53 this particular style of cab run floor also at Chumley Castle um, we have a slightly later Chevrolet here 149 XUX this is a Chevy 3 200 and it dates to 1955 of old sign writing on the door there whether that's original or sort of recreated in the old style i'm not sure but it looks great very very shiny is this half ton chevy this one dates according to the license tag on the front there to 1950. glistening here in the cheshire sun we've got 439 YUG Ford F100 in black. Back over to one of the Crew Heritage Centre events, we've got TRJ425R. This is a Chevrolet Silverado fleet I pick up. Um, really nice. It's got the I think they call these the West Coast style door mirrors, usually seen on much bigger trucks, but yeah, Chevrolet Silverado there on an R plate. Very, very cool. That's 1977. And now we have an N registered Ranchero. This one is from 1975. The front end there looks very similar to the Ford Torino saloons of the mid 1970s, the Starsky and Hutch era cars. At least that's what it reminds me of, but I'm probably very wrong, but it certainly looks similar. Really nice vehicle. The closing now of another about 1938 or there about Chevrolet pickup, very much an oily ragger. I don't know if this one went on to be fully restored or just kept looking as it is now. Um, but if you recognise it, please uh, pop a note into the comments. As always, we always like to read your thoughts on the vehicles that feature in these collections. Now, on the road, unlike that Chevrolet, we've got PFJ 260G. We've got a Ford. What's this? An F250 fleet side truck. ANG 316X is another Dodge. Not quite sure of the year of this one. What's that? I don't know, 70s, early 1970s, something like that. Uh, really interesting, not quite sure what's going on there. You've got a big opening in the bonnet, so I'm guessing there's a much modified engine under the bonnet of that one. We've got a little model hot rod as well. Now the oldest truck on here, I mean technically it's probably not a pickup, but it's a light truck so it can go in here because it's such an unusual thing. SV9716, that's a three quarter ton Rio. 1916 is the date of this one. This was many years ago at Tatton Park. So I wonder if this one went on to be restored, wooden wheels and so on. Very, very old. Slightly newer, 923 UYL. Another example of the good old Ford F100. Real classic American pickup truck there. Listening in the sunshine at I think this was Cape Thorn Hall. We've got USL 355, a 1948 international pickup. What a Bobby does all that is. Just about halfway through this collection of uh, old American pickup trucks, and here a close in view of some of the sign writing on another half ton Chevy. This is a what they call a three window cab because it hasn't got the extra uh, little windows in the, corner, the rear corners of the cab. Yeah, really, really nice. Hensford 6122. The owner of this particular one could be a got at, but this was probably 20 years ago, so what could have changed? Now, the 1965 Ford. Really, really interesting old truck. This was in the auction area down at the NEC Classic Car Show, I think, probably this year, 2022. yellow here back to Alton Park bright yellow Chevy and this is a 47 to 53 and this has got the five window cab um, probably rarer than the three window you can just about see the extra windows through the windscreen there but yeah really really smart looks like quite original old paint on there or aged to look like it very very repainted in metal flake is PAS 319 a very eye-catching distinctive F100 Ford this one from 1955 
Now, 732 YUE in the foreground there, that's a roughly 19, what, 1941, 42, something like that, uh, Chevy half tonne. And there's a 3100 alongside it, and my old truck in the background as well. So, a, a trio of classic American commercial vehicles there. There's a rear view of the same 41 to 46 Art Deco era uh, Chevy. This was leaving an event down in Shropshire, an evening meet that I went to on several occasions a few years back. Really, really neat little truck, this one. Another Chevrolet from the uh, following decade, 875UYK. This particular Chevy is from 1957. And uh, as you can see, this one also is on air suspension, judging by that very low set demeanor. The location, Sywell, the airfield at Sywell. That's just a close in of a very patinated cab on a half ton Chevrolet truck. Like a little drop of condensation just waiting to fall off the door mirror there. Back to Ford, so we've got 466 UXR, this is a V8 Ford, now this one hasn't been taxed for a few years, since 2018, so I wonder where this one is now, stashed away in someone's garage, it dates to 1932, it's got a 5.4 litre engine hiding away under that bonnet. There's another really nice 3100 Chevy here, and like I say, this is a step side version and delivery of a Triumph Specialist. Triumph Motorcycle Specialist. I suppose you will get up one or two classic bikes in the back of there. Really, really nice. These old Chevys are really popular now. And back to Fords, they're equally popular. They've got a much, much modified Ford truck here. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. You've got a very distinctive looking engine there. The holes cut out into the top of the bonnet to feed those trumpets. But more than that, I don't really know, I'm afraid. Three three five XUP, another half tonner there, bright red, fully restored by the look of it. Dates to nineteen fifty three. I do like these number plates that have the uh, year uh, identified on them. That's very very useful. XAS eight one two, so the V eight Ford there, one of the F one hundreds. This was at the uh, Stars and Stripes. We had a Chevy alongside it. Bit of rivalry there, Ford versus Chevrolet, which camp would you fall in? Never the twain shall meet, you're either a Chevy or a Ford man, unless of course you prefer Dodges. Um, yeah. And uh, talking of Chevys, we've got a sort of wintry scene here, another half ton pickup truck, looking very, very snowy. Now this has got the one piece screen, so that makes this a 1954 truck with the 235 cubic inch engine, because previously I think it just had the 216 cubic inch engine. Down to Malvern in 2022. If you've not seen the video yet, I did quite a long video down there of the cars arriving and a walk around and including this, this little red express truck based on a Dodge of the what, 1980s, I'm guessing. BVV204S, that's a 1977 Ford F-150 Ranger XLT. I'm guessing that was quite a plush one, judging by all those strips down the side, extra bright work and so on. But yeah, I'm sure that's quite a comfy ride. Town and country tyres on the front. That must be a bit of a jiggly ride. Talking of jiggly rides, is this very low slung, presumably on air as well. Uh, mid 50s, 55 to 57 or there about Chevrolet. Again, some wonderful sign writing there. I do like a nice bit of period style sign writing. And this Chevy's got plenty of it. What a cool looking truck that is. 157 X UK, this is quite a rare one. This is a Ford F100. Um, now that registration doesn't actually show on DVLA at all. The truck dates to 1959, but where is it now? Maybe it's just been re-registered or possibly exported, but it certainly doesn't show that registration when I check the DVLA online. So where is it now, that truck? Staying with Ford, we've got a V8 Ford here, dating to about 1965. It's a fleet side, as you can see, could be a long bed. Usually these trucks were available with short or long beds, depending on what you needed. Left-hand drive, so I'm guessing an import. Very, very smart indeed. This was taken quite a few years ago, and it's a Model T, Ford Model T, Roadster pickup, dating to 1917. It says handily there on the front of the little vehicle. 
Um, these have like a folding roof, a bit like a Torah, but with a pickup area out the back. So it's a bit of best of both worlds, really. And the gathering here, this was a local gathering quite a few years ago now, about 15 years ago, 901 UXT. That's a Chevy 3, 200 step side, dating to 1957. This one's currently on Sawn, i.e. off the road, 5.7 litre engine. So where's this one now? Is it being re-restored, perhaps? This is a very cool... Uh, Ford here in the uh, livery of Cobra, Shelby American Inc. That's really, really nice indeed. I like that. Back to pre-war and we have a, as it says there, 1939 Ford. Quite a distinctive colour scheme, um, but what a what fantastic styling. I do love those. Very nice. I think they call these the barrel nosed pickups and trucks going off the shape of the grill. This was at the Goodwood Revival in about 2006, I think this was. KFF 207, that's a sort of 55 or 56 Chevy half ton truck. Very, very original. Bit of a biff above the headlight there, so that'll take some tapping out. Staying with Chevy, we've got FMA 268F. So this one is about 1967, late 67, early 1968. There's an interesting Dodge, or at least the Dodge cab and body, but I'm not quite sure what the running gear is. Is that an original Dodge chassis under there? I really don't know. A bit of an oddball on this. This was at Cape Thorn Hall, YVL 229. That's the pilot house era of Dodge, I believe, I might be wrong. Um, this replaced the 39 to 47 shape. And staying with the pilot house Dodges, here we've got a more original looking one, 596 UXN. Um, this one is about, this is a half ton, obviously B series pilot house, dating to 1952. But yeah, this replaced the 39 to 47 style of truck that we saw before. That's Chevy here, TCW 70T, that's a 1979, and no V8 in this one. This has a 2.2 litre diesel, apparently. Um, well, at least it's not a petrol V8. It says V8 on the front, but when I looked it up, it said diesel 2.2. So, is that what it is? Is that really what it's powered by? You know, you, you, know, you tell me. Anyway, carrying on, we have a Studebaker here, bright red and white Studebaker 378 XUD. This one's from 1956. This was seen at Tatton Park, and behind is an equally rare standard Atlas-based camper van. Good heavens. It's a big, big Chevrolet here, long bed, fleet side. You can see long bed. It's a very long old truck. That is probably, could well be a three-quarter ton, this one. I'm not really that well up on these old pickup trucks, but I'm guessing that's probably a three-quarter ton truck. If you know where this one is now, has it been restored? Is it still in that livery, an American company? Uh, let me know. And here we have a Fargo, basically a Dodge in other words. This one dates to 1952, it's got a 4 litre engine. Originally these had a big side valve 6 cylinder engine in them, so I think this has probably still got that engine in it. Big old straight 6 side valve that dates to the pre-war years pretty much. They ran with that for a long, long time. We saw this at Donington quite a few years ago, a 3100 Chevy SFO 221, half ton truck, about well, it's Dallas 1955, but the split windscreen that suggests it's probably 1953 or earlier. And again, the advanced design, as it's so called. Bit of militaria here. This is an oddball one. This is a 1967 Kaiser Jeep, powered by a 3.8 litre engine. I think technically this is the M715 one and a quarter ton truck. So a few more of these American pickups and here, LJH 810W, this is a Chevrolet El Camino and it's a 1980s, about 1987, this particular vehicle, mono body, so the rear pickup sort of forms part of the same body, it's not a separate um, body like it would be on the 3100 pickups, that kind of thing. Now we've got another 41 to 46 Chevrolet here, YXG 280. Slightly lowered, big shiny wheels, matte black paint, certainly looks the part. A 
bright, bright day and a bright, bright red Ford. I think originally this would have been V8 powered, but I've got a feeling this one's been uh, converted to diesel power. Presumably it's a lot more economical that way. Left hand drive, so an import. Uh, but yeah, this one pops up at many classic vehicle shows. Down to the NEC and a very, very modified Ford. I'm not quite sure what the running gear is on this one, but wow, that's certainly some work's gone into that. Somewhat more original is this two-tone Chevrolet 3100. Uh, apart from the wheels, I think the wheels are probably non-original. 802, was that 902 XUU? Big shiny grille on this one. They're often painted. It's a split window, so that makes it 47 to 53 or thereabouts. Got a Chevy here, 289 power. You can just about see the badge on the front. So, would it be 289? Actually, no, that was a Ford, wasn't it? Anyway, it dates to about 1965, this one. El Camino. AUJ 737A, 1963. Chevrolet still had a wraparound windscreen at this point in time, um, but it wasn't long after that that they went with a much sort of smoother, straighter windscreen without that curve at the front. Um, you do have to watch your knees when you get in and out of these because you can clobber yourself on them. Now, oh, I do like these lovely, lovely truck here YYJ772. This one's Sorn, so it's off the road somewhere. So, late 30s Chevrolet. Um, I believe about 1939, 1940, somewhere around there for this particular pickup truck. But what a, what a cracking looking thing that is. DUJ 277B is a 1964 Chevy. And this is what I was saying about when they had the wraparound windscreens. Then they went to sort of the flatter screens like this one. The year before, 63 and 62, they had the wraparound screens. But for 64, they had the screens like this, just to sort of try and modernise things a little bit more. Definitely not model, it is this uh, Ford Model T, this one that says on the information board there, 1917 pickup truck. And you can see the Roadster pickup arrangement, the hood's folded there, the wooden hood uh, frame you can see folded behind the seat there, and the pickup area just out the back. Very nice indeed too. And here we've got 173UXY, a GMC, a 4.2 litre GMC pickup from 1958. Cracker that is. This was many, many years ago. I forget which show I photographed this, but I've not seen it since, so uh, very nice indeed. An old Ford V8 here, 407XUN. If you're a fan of these old American pickups, please uh, let me know in the comments if you've got one especially. YXG478, this was down at the NEC in the, one of the restoration shows they hold down there. And again, this is sort of 1938, 1939, possibly 1940, that kind of era. Because um, from 41 onwards, they went with the, the change to the Art Deco styling. Here we've got another advanced design half ton truck. Trucking Old Town Company, or the Old Town Trucking Company even, um, livery on the door there. Very, very clean looking truck indeed. And this might look familiar, it's the same truck but with different sign writing on the doors. And I'm not quite sure which came first and uh, whether it's still the same now. Uh, if you know this truck, please uh, say hello in the comments and give me an update on it. And in the background there, you can actually see, just, just about see it, an Austin E35 pickup as well. Um, but yeah, really cool. The V8 Ford here, 198 UXS. Back to Chevrolet, about 1955 or 1956, short bed. Uh, step side body on this one, again, you've got the wraparound screen. Uh, looks really, really neat. Quite modified, different grille on it, uh, blacked out chrome. This was at Western Park in the Auto Jumble area. Down to Silverstone, we've got this incredible Diamond T. This is another example of basically an American pickup truck body. Well, I suppose it's not technically a pickup, but an American truck body on much more modern running gear. So I guess 
I guess in many people's eyes you've got the best of both worlds, the oldie worldly styling but with modern brakes, engine, suspension and so on. And here a bright white Chevrolet El Camino. This I think was at Western Park if I remember correctly. That was the 2022 event. Big exhaust there sticking out under the door, jacked up suspension, uh, very sort of reminiscent of the 1970s uh, custom style. And that El Camino rounds out this collection of photographs featuring American pickup trucks and light trucks. I hope that was of interest. Thanks very much for sticking with this one. And uh, if you've not had a look around the channel before, please have a look before you disappear because there are literally hundreds of videos and show visits, museum visits, walk arounds and so on. So uh, yeah, there should be something there for most people. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and there'll be more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.